Here, let me introduce you all properly. You guys already met Cassie Rose and LD Shadow Lady. Uh, but my friend That's who missing. it was. This is Stacy Plays, Stampy Cat, and that's Dan, the Diamond Minecart. W when <laughs> did your hair change color? Wasn't well, it? It's <laughs> funny. Before you guys showed up, we all knew each other here. Their names are Jesse, Petra, Lucas, and Ivor. You said there was news? Is it good? Good news? No. Uh, yeah. It's, um, bad news, I'm afraid. Torque Dog is dead. Good heavens! Oh, no. Wait, what? But Torque Dog was so <laughs> tough! There was nothing that could take him down. What happened? Yeah, what on earth is going on here, Sparkles? These are what got him. Tipped arrows? Does this mean someone set a trap for Torque Dog? That's nasty. I can't believe Talk Dog's gone. Just like that. So, what happened to his stuff? Whoa! How can you say that? What? It's a valid question. It Whoa. is. Come on, everyone. Come on. Don't get greedy. Just... I want to know what happened. For curiosity's sake. His stuff just disappeared. Went down this weird hole in the floor. Are we just supposed to take your word for that? Guys, I saw it too. Jesse was poking around in Torque Dog's stuff right before it got sucked into a hopper. So I'm looking Dad. at this situation. I'm trying to figure something out. Is this just about Torque Dog, or is there a bigger picture? Yeah, why have our portraits? I don't know, guys. Knowing Torque Dog, I think this might just be about him. <laughs> Am I picking up some beef here? Uh, what? No! I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, but then why invite us all here? That's true. Hadn't thought about that. Well, someone brought us here for a reason, including Talk Dog. What if we're all in danger? Oh my gosh, Dan's right. Whoever's doing this, they could be hunting us. Hey, come on, everyone. If there's one thing I believe in, it's teamwork. If we all stick together and get through this as a team, we'll be fine. <laughs> Inspiring. There you go, guys. <laughs> teamwork makes the dream work. Wow. wow. Oh, all of this <laughs> danger talk has my stomach all queasy. Stampy, come over here. I need to talk to you about something. Lizzie. Psst. Lizzie. The more I think about it, the more I think that there's something these people really don't want us to know. One of them's got to know the truth about what's going on here. It'd be nice to figure out what on earth is going on here, especially if we're going to be stuck with these people until dawn. I say we talk to everyone and gain their trust. Yeah, good luck with that. Eh, Let's get I like doing it. Then. Oh my god, chicken jockey. I have to admit, I'm kind of nervous my computer will keep cutting out, so I just keep pausing the recording. Hey guys. Hey Jesse. How's it going? Yeah, find anything out yet why Torp Dog was. you know. I actually just wanted to talk to you guys first. Check in on how you're doing. Oh, um, we're fine. Yeah, for the most part. A little weirded out with this whole situation, but other than that, I'd say we're fine. <clears throat> Very kind of you to ask, though. There's definitely something strange going on here. I'm just getting a bad feeling from the whole thing. Yeah, I'm with you. You should keep questioning people. See what you can find out. No kidding. You guys have any theories about what's going on? Nothing concrete yet, but Lizzie and Dan over there seem like they might be hiding something. I was developing a theory that Sparkles was in on it. But even I have to admit, he just seems too nice. True that. <laughs> That's it's always the nice lead, ones. Lucas. Thanks. I'm going to keep asking around about Torque Dog. Good luck. Yes, happy investigating. So is the nice ones. Hey, Sparkles, and Cassie Rose. Yeah. Yep. Hi, that's me. Hey there, Jesse. Oh, Winslow says hi too. <laughs> you mind if I ask you guys some questions? Nope. What are the questions? 
Cassie, you seemed pretty upset about people wanting to poke around Torque Dog's inventory. Oh, was I? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you were. Why was that? Well, it was just so... It's insensitive, right? I mean, it, it had just happened, and she was all curious about what was in his pockets. Just made me mad, I guess. There was drama between Lizzie and Torque Dog, right? Got any insight? Sorry, I'm not getting wrapped up in that. Especially now that Torque Dog is, you know... But it's weird, right? Uh, that definitely seems like there's some beef. Uh, not that I um, want to get into rumors or anything like that. Got any guesses why someone would kill Torque Dog? It was mean? Uh, gosh, gosh. Um, he was a little prickly around the edges, you know? You'd have to ask other people about that. I, I didn't really know him. Mm-hmm. I don't want to say anything mean about a guy that's not here to defend himself, but, well, you met him, right? Prickly is kind of an understatement. Sparkles. Yeah. Cassie. Winslow. Thanks for the time. No problem. Uh, yeah, anytime. <laughs> that, I love that cat. Get anything out of them? Found out this group has a whole lot of secrets they're keeping from each other. That's definitely something. Uh, yeah it is. Let's, let's talk to the cat and the woman I saw at Minecon. Hey guys. Stampy and Stacy, right? Oh, um, uh, hello! Hey, Jesse. What's up? I know things are a little nuts right now, but I've got some questions. Oh, really? Uh, but well, what? Seems like Lizzie and Torque Dog really didn't like each other. Know anything else about that? Oh, that! Real shame, real shame. He broke into her house and stole a bunch of stuff from her. She was super upset about it. You wow. don't say. Stacy, you seemed pretty curious about what was in Torque Dog's inventory. What's up with that? Well, Torque Dog was a pretty notorious thief. I was just curious what he had. That's it. Mm-hmm. Anyone you can think of that would want something bad to happen to Torque Dog? Um, well... I never had that big of a problem with him personally, but I know other people did. Quite a few, actually. I don't know if you noticed, but he was a bit of a griefer. Yeah, and a thief. Thief, huh? <laughs> Interesting. Thanks, you two. This has been enlightening. No problem. Yeah, no problem. I'm still trying to keep an open mind. So did you find anything out from Stacy or Sturdy Cat? Stacy Cat? <laughs> Right, right. So did you find anything out? Apparently, Torque Dog was a well-known thief. A thief, huh? That might have something to do with it, don't you think? Agreed. And now it's these hey two Hey there, still. Dan. Lizzie. Oh, uh, hello? Hi there. If you don't mind, I actually had some questions about this Torque Dog situation. Yeah? Go ahead. It seemed like people were really interested in seeing Tork Dog's inventory. Any idea why? An adventurer like him? He could have had all kinds of cool stuff. Uh-huh. Tork Dog was clearly targeted with this trap. Why him? Well, he was bragging about having some kind of rare item. Wouldn't show it to anyone, of course. Typical talk dog. So, this rare item that Tork Dog claimed to have. What can you tell me about it? We don't know exactly. Yeah, sorry. Okay. And one more thing. Lizzie, seems like you're not much of a Tork Dog fan. What's the deal? Oh, come on. You met him, right? Nobody liked that guy. I'm just the only one who will actually admit it. He, um, yeah, he definitely wasn't the nicest person. <laughs> it's strange to hear Dan saying that kind of stuff. So, Lizzie, I heard something interesting about you and Torque Dog. Yeah? 
What did you hear? I'm sure there are all sorts of rumors floating around out there. I heard he stole from you. Whoa, would you keep it down? Okay, yes, he did. He stole one of my creeper head trophies, my very first one. I just didn't want to mention it before because I didn't want to look guilty. Wait, that's creeper fair enough. This isn't about Danch. the. Danch! No, not in front of. And no, I told you, I never had it. Okay. Dan, you seem surprised by Lizzie mentioning a stolen creeper head. What did you think Torque Dog had stolen from her? Uh, remember that rare item you were asking us about before? Yeah, it's that, and I'm still not going to talk about it. Sorry. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks. I respect your boundaries, and I'm going to back What'd off. What'd you find out? It's all tangled up, but it sounds like it was something he stole from Lizzie. But all he stole from Lizzie was a creeper head. I didn't see anything like that in his inventory, though. Yeah, something's not quite adding up here. So, Torque Dog was a thief, and he supposedly had something rare. But it feels like there's still a piece missing. No one will tell me what this rare item is. I, uh, I think I can shed some light on that situation, actually. Thank well, you. Now my curiosity is piqued. He already had me at rare item. <laughs> Why is everyone so secretive about this thing? What's the big deal? There's a temple, way out in the middle of nowhere. No one knows who built it, but it's been there forever. People have been trying to track down the temple's location for ages because they want this treasure. It's supposedly deep in its basement. Now, it looks just like an ordinary flint and steel, but it's actually super rare. It's got this enchantment on it. It can open portals to other worlds. Exactly. Wait, what? You know about the enchanted flint and steel? How did yep. you know that? Did, have you have you seen it? Hmm. Have you seen it today? Hey, I'm just a really good guesser. I was just putting pieces together. I don't really have any idea what you're talking about. Uh, not to be cynical, but I'm not sure I believe you. But I do think I'm starting to figure out why we're all here. Everyone? We can't exactly Everyone? trust them yet. Whoever killed Torque Dog, whoever invited us, they're after the enchanted flint and steel. Ah! Sparkle? Uh, bye, Jordan. Oh, no. Panic, 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 Okay, that's fucking creepy. Greetings, adventurers. I am the white pumpkin. One of you is the treasure I desire. I will not rest until it is mine. Even if I have to resort to murder. Fucking hell! How can't you choose to die? Pick your sparkles! Pick your sparkles! No, 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 This is nightmare fuel. This is awful. Terrible. Who was that guy? And there's no such thing as white pumpkins. So that's white pumpkins hanging all over the place. Yep. I'm so getting out of here. Ugh. And this is where we see someone else die. So much for a nice dinner party. Ah! Oh, no! I don't like the sound of that. Oh. Shut the door. Shut the door. Shut the door. Shut the door! Come here, Winslow. Don't be scared. So we're stuck in here. And if we're stuck in here, we're all doomed. I thought I heard Sparkle say something about a flint and steel. Oh, please don't bring that up again. Well, obviously, Park Dog didn't steal it. Okay, but who then? Uh, Jesse? Okay. Well, I guess I'm next then. 
Nope, <laughs> not happening. But your inventory's clean, right? No flint and steel? Why would he want you? I suppose he's just being thorough. Also, I'm sure I've got something he wants. Well, I'm sure there's a perfectly logical explanation for how the White Pumpkin is doing all this. I mean, the whole place has got to be rigged with traps, right? Torque Dog, trap. Sparkles, trap. Yeah, we need to find out what makes these traps tick. All right, I'm going to investigate that dining room. Cool. I'll keep those guys in the hall for now so I can keep an eye on everyone. An excellent idea. Don't want them messing up the crime scene. I'm sticking with you, Jesse. Doesn't seem safe to wander off alone. Okay, people, clear out. This is a crime scene. Okay. How are you doing this, White Pumpkin? <laughs> 